Pow with another video. So we're going to be talking about the SPY, the S&P 500. I'm also going to put IWM and QQQ in the back. And then we're also going to go over the news that we have every day this week. So where we're expecting moves to be in the pre-market or middle of the day or later in the day. We're going to go over that also. So smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Let's get this video over 100 likes because this is what you need to know throughout the week. Remember what I told you guys? You want to be watching the SPY every day that you are looking to trade in the markets, right? So SPY is the most important one. You need to know what the SPY is doing. Also, the SPY has not moved out of a range that he created it for itself since December 16th. The SPY has not moved out of this range, right? It's kind of just been in here, which doesn't hone for like direction. We need clear direction to be able to go heavy like on swings and stuff or upside or downside we don't have that so until we get more movement i'm gonna give you guys the two important levels we should be watching out for but until we get more movement you really can't go heavy on like like swings and stuff like that i'm not going heavy on any swings because the spy hasn't moved for over two weeks almost three weeks if it doesn't move out of this range right so it's kind of just honed in here you want to be mindful of that also and also make sure you join the team first thing in the description we have the elite section. So this is all the elite section right here on the Discord. This is all the rooms you get on the elite section. You also get the 5K account challenge. So if, we, if you want to follow along with us in the 5K, we're growing a 5K account to as high as possible. You can follow that here. And then we have the apprentice stock section, which is here. That's the new tier we have. First thing in that description. Remember, do not worry about the dollar amount. Worry about the knowledge you can get for that dollar amount. And when you join the team, make sure you throw all retail mind thing out. Don't worry about patterns, R size, indicators. You don't need none of that. I teach you the real stuff, okay? The real stuff. Do not worry about patterns, indicators, and all this extra stuff that is thrown at you that you do not need, okay? Come learn the real stuff. Come invest in yourself. First in the description. Do not miss that chance because one day this year, in 2023, Happy New Year to everybody, I'm going to be closing the group and you won't be able to join anymore, okay? So now... Monday is today, bank holiday, so not really need anything going to Monday. January 3rd, Tuesday, which is tomorrow. We don't really have any, any big news, okay? We got the OPEC, JM meetings going. That's going through all day, though, so it's not really going to be anything specific. Then we got a uh, final manufacturing PMI coming out about 15 minutes before the market opens. Well, after the market opens on Tuesday, construction spending month of a month. So this might affect it a little bit in the markets, probably within the first 30 minutes of trading. Maybe look out for a little bit of movements. I don't think we're going to get anything crazy off of these movements on Tuesday, but that is some news to be watching out for. And then Wednesday, and don't worry, I'm going to be making these videos once a week to kind of give you the news ahead of time to what we're expecting. And then Wednesday, we don't really have any news on Wednesday until around 30 minutes after the market opens. We got ISM manufacturing PMI and we got Jolt's job openings. And then in the middle of the day, we got the FOMC minutes, uh, meeting minutes, right? So Wednesday is going to be a very, very impactful day, which means Tuesday might be a setup day for Wednesday. Okay, so make sure you join the team because on our private live streams, we'll be talking about that. So big news Wednesday, okay? Three big news comes out. So be mindful of that. We're probably going to get a lot of movements up and down. What can once be bullish might turn bearish and so forth. We're going to go over levels on the SPY SP500 right after this also. So stay tuned. Then Thursday, we got an ADP, ADP non-farm unemployment change coming out an hour and 15 minutes before the market opens. An hour, 15 minutes before the market opens. So we're going to get a big movement pre-market. So be mindful of that. And then 15 minutes after that, so still in pre-market, we're going to get unemployment claims coming out, right? So another big news driver that's going to be coming out. Then we have trade balances, finance services, PMI, natural gas storage, all about an hour probably after the market opens so we're going to get a lot of stuff in the morning then we're going to get crude oil inventories about middle of the day so thursday has a lot of news also right wednesday has a lot of news thursday had a lot of news which means what it might be better days to actually scalp in the markets which we'll be doing i scalp almost every day especially in a 5k account if you want to come grow your account see how i do it and stuff like that we're doing a 5k challenge this in the first link in that description when you join the team it's a part of the elite membership okay then Friday, we have the average hourly earnings month over month, non-farm unemployment change, and unemployment rate, and ISM services PMI. So a lot of big news. All the news comes out an hour before the market opens, and then we have ISM coming out 30 minutes 
after the market opens. So you're not going to want to have any trades before this news comes out. You want to have that news already kind of moved and then try to look to get something. So Friday, Thursday, Wednesday are all big news drivers. Okay, very, very big news drivers. Expecting a lot of movements off of those. Tuesday is a little more softer day. So maybe that could be some type of setup. We'll see how Tuesday moves. Tuesday might even trade sideways. So be mindful of that too. Now let's go ahead and go over to the levels. Levels, levels, levels. Make sure you guys also don't forget to watch the videos I got before this one. Uh, a stock I'm looking to buy heavy within 72 hours. Very easy money on that. We got a Tesla video here. We got Mullen here. We got Ape and we got BBY. So make sure you check out all the three, all these videos. It'll probably be four to five videos today. So just stay tuned for that and be ready. Okay, so SPY. The main two levels, S&P for the S&P 500, main, main two levels you want to be watching is support at 377 and resistance at 385. That is it, okay? Keep the stock market simple. Do not be fooled by everything else that goes on the stock market, what everybody says, okay? We don't need patterns. We do not need indicators. Look at my chart. What do you see on here? Nothing except key levels. That is it. That is all you need, right? That's what I teach you guys when you join the team, the real stuff. Not baloney, fahoney, and all a thousand, ten thousand lesson videos just to make the course look bigger than it is, right? Very, very simple. Come learn, invest in yourself. So, 377 is support, 385 is resistance. If we break 385 as resistance, I'm expecting SPY to go to around 392 and maybe even a little higher. That is a potential trade I'm looking at, okay? But this needs to break first to kind of give me that more confirmation. Because remember, there's a difference between buying pressure and buying pressure confirmation. Then we have a support at 377. If the support breaks, we're probably going to go down to around 372 and even lower. That might, excuse me, that might signal the next down leg, right? We had this down leg, and then we kind of been stalled out for like two weeks, haven't really done much, which is why I haven't gone any heavy, any heavy on like swings or nothing like that because there's no direction. No direction means we don't know where it's going to go. So we can't play heavy in one direction or the other, okay? Now, um, so those are big levels. Those are big levels I'm watching out for the SPY. Now, what I think we might see Tuesday, because Tuesday doesn't really have any news, we might see something like this, dun, 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 right here. So where it opened is where it closed. It might look like it did a lot throughout the day, but technically it really did nothing. So we might see this type of movement on Tuesday, very sideways type of movement you want to be watching out for, okay? That is possible. That's why I say try not to get trapped in anything. If you have profit, take it. Remember, we're here to be profitable. We're not here to be right. Then, now let me give you guys levels on the IWM. And also, remember, I was telling you guys, when we was having this big run up here and big run up here, I was like, be careful because it might just come back down. It's probably just mimicking what did it here, did here, because it does that every about three months. And that's exactly what it did. As you see, now we're on that downward movement, right? So I try to prepare you guys the best as possible. So what I can do is I can actually take this off. Make sure you guys don't forget to smash that like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes. All I ask from you guys is smash the like button. Comment down below what other stocks you guys want me to go over. And subscribe. Share the videos out and all that good stuff. Okay. Now, let's go to IWM. IWM big levels. This is a Russell 2000, right? AMC's in here. So if you watch AMC, you need to be watching IWM. Support at 172 and resistance at 175 on IWM. So if we get higher push at 175, I'm expecting bigger push. If we get pushed below 172, I'm expecting uh, IWM to fall below 170 and so, okay? Those are your two big levels on IWM. Then, QQQ, ticker symbol QQQ. Bigger levels, resistance is like 271. Um, if we break that, I'm expecting higher prices. And then support is about 262. If we break that on the downside, I'm expecting lower prices. QQQ does seem heavier on the downside than SPY and IWM. Okay, so be mindful of that. QQ is one of my top plays going out through the week that I'm going to give to the team members um, today. Okay, so stay tuned for that. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Make sure it is spelled correctly. There are fake ones going around. I have 1,565 followers. Please make sure it's the right one. Will.knowledge. It's spelled exactly how you see here. Some of the fake ones. Have like three L's, two E's, and so forth. Do not be fooled. I would never message you on Instagram ever for anything. Okay? So follow the right one. Always remember, none of this recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in this video. I will catch you guys in that next one. Bye.